We have a compost collection program. We have some partner um, restaurants and grocery stores here in the community. So we go twice a week and we collect uh, food scraps, produce, um, veggies, fruit, that kind of thing. And we bring it back here to the farm and we use it in our compost system. We feed maybe some of it to our animals, our chickens and pigs who love uh, fruits and veggies. And so we, we take that and then we turn what was a waste stream into something productive that we can grow food for our community. So we are just dumping all of the uh, compost or the food scrap bags that we've gotten from the local markets. Um, and as we're dumping, we're kind of making a windrow here so that we can top it when we're finished with um, sawdust and it'll compost nicely. What I'm doing is kind of going through and cutting off rubber bands or picking up plastic and then saving any that I think like our chickens might eat or our goats might eat and then I'll put those on the side. The program's been going on for a number of years um, before I got here. Huh. Uh, the farm's been in existence since 1976. So almost 50 years we've been here. Uh, and our mission is to alleviate food insecurity and hunger through sustainable agriculture, education, and research here at the farm. One of the big issues is food waste. So when we waste food, we throw it in the trash and it goes to the landfill. Um, last time I checked, I guess it was a 2015 um, stat that said the amount of food waste that we produce here in the United States, we could line up. 18-wheelers uh, from New York to Los Angeles 10 times. Uh, that's the amount of food waste that we, we put into landfills. And when it goes in the landfills, what it does is it doesn't decompose in a nice way, it rots. And that rotting food produces methane gas, uh, which is not great for the environment. <laughs> and then, you know, the issues with landfills on the local community and the health of the environment. So we try to keep the food waste out of landfills and actually put it to use. Uh, give it a second life and we compost it, which essentially we put it in a pile with lots of uh, wood chips and straw and hay, and then all the little uh, microorganisms take that and turn it from uh, a waste source uh, or a waste stream into uh, something that we can utilize in our garden beds um, to feed our plants and produce food for our community.